Hi, this is Dr. Kolodinker. I'll go over how to perform a common perineal nerve um, release, a very delicate surgery. Here you can see the incision line, the tissue dissection, uh, very carefully making sure not to injure the common perineal nerve as it is responsible for working the anterior muscle groups. And uh, here you can kind of see the nerve. It's uh, yellowed. You don't want to pinch it. Ideally, where you really see the nerve is when the knee is more bent. So the goal here is to release the tendinous regions around the nerve. Now, when you actually see it here, you could see a little bit of the nerve coming into view. When you could see it, use the scissor to reflect when you can't see a blunt dissection such as a finger is really helpful. Um, I typically don't touch the nerve. I touch the grab the tissues around it here. You can also see the nerve coming into view and uh, how it goes around that fibular neck. And so what you're trying to do is you can move the nerve, but just don't pinch it um, and free up all the tissues around it. Get behind it. And don't be too scared of it here. You could see how thick that nerve is in that region. And uh, approximately around the Army Navy, it's more of a normal structure. <clears throat> but as you go distal, kind of where I'm touching around there, a little bit more distal to it, it looks a little bit more fatty than it should be. So here with the leg straight, it loses, it loses some of the visibility. And once you're done with the dissection, I typically use dexamethasone, uh, four milligrams, and I will inject it right around the covering, the sheath that covers the nerve, the perineum. And you'll see how it just inflates. You're not going deep at all. This is so superficial. And it minimizes the inflammation and the swelling, gives it a much quicker recovery. It's almost impossible to do this blindly when you try to give injections, but this works really well, making sure that everything is dissected. For any questions, feel free to visit my website, ocpodiatry.com.